Which country boasts the most miles of railroad tracks in the world? United States. What is the greatest selling debut album in American history? Pass. U.S. Presidents Thomas Jefferson and James Monroe had previously both been governor of which U.S. state? Virginia. The world capital city at the highest altitude is La Paz. Which country is it in? Peru. When Charles Lindbergh completed the first transatlantic flight in Paris, from which city did his journey begin? Uh, Garden City, New York. What is the greatest selling debut album in American history? Uh, uh, double pass. Time. Robert, how did you do? Uh, I think I got a couple. <laughs> okay. Let's see how Hot Wings does. We'll wave wow. him back in. This happened. He is back. Hello. Hello, Hot Wings. Are you ready? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't have any idea what's going on in the last 10 days, but sure. Okay. Well, this is all recent. Uh, oh, no. Trivia. This is terrible. Uh, here it is. Your turn. Robert's on hold. Dumber than the show trivia hot wings edition. A thousand dollars on the line for Robert. Your turn begins in three, two, one. Which country boasts the most miles of railroad track in the world? China. What is the greatest selling debut album in American history? Say that again? What is the greatest selling debut album in American history? Yes. U.S. Presidents Tom Jefferson and James Monroe had previously been governors of which state? Virginia. The world capital city at the highest altitude is La Paz. Which country is it in? Argentina. When Charles Lindbergh completed the first transatlantic flight in, Par in Paris, from which city did his journey begin? New York City. What is the greatest selling debut album in American history? Wow. Um, Boston. Time. By Boston. Man, I do not know that. Hmm. All right. Let's welcome back Robert. Hello. Hello, Robert. How are you? Doing great. You think you won? Mm, I think I have a chance. All right. Let's score this game. Which country boasts the most miles of railroad track in the world? Owing said, China! Robert said the United States. The two of you have named number one and number two. Ow. China has around 70,000 miles of railroad tracks. <laughs> the United States has 140,000 miles. Robert is correct. We one to nothing, Robert. do? I thought they had all been turned into bike paths at this point. <laughs> God, I never see railroad tracks anymore. Crap, okay. What is the greatest selling album in American history? Hot Wings said Boston. You said debut album. Debut album in American history, yes. Boston by the band Boston. Robert did not answer. The answer is Appetite for Destruction by Guns N' Roses. Oh. One Man. to nothing, Robert. Yeah, I would. U.S. Presidents Thomas Jefferson and James Monroe had previously been governor of which state? Hot Wings said Virginia. So did Robert. Damn it. Both correct. Two to one. The world capital city at the highest altitude is La Paz. Which country is it in? Hot Wings said Argentina. Robert said Peru. The answer is Bolivia. Ah. Two to one, Robert. 
when Charles Lindbergh completed the first transatlantic flight in Paris, from which city did his journey begin? Hot Wings said New York City. Robert said Garden City, New York. That made me curious because the answer I had is New York City. So Hot Wings is going to get the point for that. But it, as I'm looking it up, it took off from Long Island. And if it was from a borough in Long Island called Garden City, New York, we would have to give them that point, right? I mean, they would think so. Because it would be the answer. Yeah. Still trying to find that. Is that what you're basing that on? Also, Robert? Looking it up, trying to. Yep. Let's see. Yep. Where did his flight begin? Oh, boy. Where did his flight start? Everybody just says New York. Roosevelt Field in Long Island. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Let me do. It is in Roosevelt Field is in Garden City, New York. I but think Robert is, got it. Robert gets it. Yeah. Yeah. But was that what it was called then? <laughs> it sounds like it was. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Names change. Robert wins three to two. <laughs> It was a two-second game. <laughs> well, three seconds. People are saying it sounded like Robert was taking the loss out on his kids. <laughs> <laughs> or a very angry cat available on TV for adoption. It got very, very loud very quickly. So uh, well done on holding mm -hmm. whatever that was back. Let's not forget Hot Wings yeah. said he doesn't see that railroad tracks daughter. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I bike on used to be one. <laughs> I mean, is it really a railroad track if there's no train on it? Mm -hmm. Robert, Who's to you, say? Your long nightmare is over. Congratulations. And uh, hold on, please. Derp, derp, derp. <laughs>